I propose that we build a robot child who can love, a robot child who will genuinely love the parent or parents it imprints on with a love that will never end. I propose that we build a robot who can love. Artificial intelligence is defined by Google as the theory and development of computer systems able to perform tasks that normally require human intelligence, such as visual perception, speech recognition, decision making, and translation between languages. If you trust the movies, then you believe that AI will lead to the inevitable destruction of our planet as they violently and mercilessly slaughter all remaining humans. But if you trust actual scientists, then you also believe that AI will lead to the destruction of humanity. In 2014, Stephen Hawking told BBC, the development of full artificial intelligence could spell the end of the human race. But this video isn't about the potential ramifications of creating an intelligence that one day may surpass our own and instigate global domination. No, no. This video is about making a potentially deadly mind out of a pizza box. Though AI may seem extremely complicated, all computers operate with the same basic functions. In 1936, Alan Turing, a mathematician and pioneer for artificial intelligence, described a type of machine that, though simple, could calculate almost anything that could be calculated given enough information. The Turing machine worked like this. Imagine a tape of paper with different symbols on it. And at the center of this tape is a little machine that can do three things. One, it can read the symbol on the square underneath the machine. Two, it can edit the symbol by writing a new symbol or erasing it. And three, it can move the tape left or right by one square so that the machine can read and edit the symbol on a neighboring square. If we give the machine instructions on what to do when it encounters a specific symbol, then it can perform any function or operation if given enough information. Here's a simple example. With the symbols 110 printed on the tape, Let's attempt to convert the 1s to zeros and the zeros to 1s. If the machine sees a 0, then it will write a 1 in its place and then move the tape to the right. If it sees a 1, then it will write a 0 in its place and move the tape to the right. And if the machine doesn't see anything written at all, it will simply stop. Yay! That was a very simple example, but this machine could compute an infinite amount of information that could include mathematical calculations, physics simulations, or artificial intelligence. Turing complete is a term used to describe something that is complex enough it could calculate information similar to a Turing machine. For example, someone created a Turing complete computer in Minecraft. Even simple marbles falling down a Plinko-like board that switched the states of some seesaws is Turing complete. Word of warning, if you look up some of these marble-powered machines, you will find yourself falling down a very weird YouTube rabbit hole. This is where my pizza box comes in. Following the design of this marble adding machine I found online, I can make an artificial intelligence you can converse with. Now this machine isn't actually AI, instead it's a simple addition calculator. You input values in binary, for example 5 in binary is 4 plus 1, and then input the number you want to add, 6, which is 4 plus 2. Then the interactions of the marbles of the machine calculate the result to be 11. Now I know what you're thinking, a calculator has nothing to do with an AI that can talk or converse with you. But the more I thought about it, the more it made sense that conversation is like a calculator in and of itself. I mean, every time that you talk with your barber or your roommate, you are receiving input in the form of values, which are phrases and keywords, that your brain then goes through a long, long list of instructions and backlogs of memories and other similar phrases, which it then outputs much like a Turing machine. So I've created this 
So this is the completely automatized, especially awesome robot, also known as Caesar. <laughs> and don't let the looks fool you, he is hot and ready. So this is built identically to the digital calculator that you saw that I found online. But the difference is you don't input numbers, but you input words like you do in conversation. But each word has to be associated with a different number or different set of values. We'll put coins here instead of marbles, which will then interact with these little seesaw cardboard pieces, which will then give us a result. But to talk with this machine, we have to speak its language. So I created this, the Caesar user manual. Now we can't have a very complex conversation with the thing, so I chose a, a small list of a few basic words that you could ask basic questions. So those are interrogative words, a few model verbs, personal pronouns, and then uh, subjects. What you want to talk about, like life, the universe, the meaning of, of anything. The way that you use Caesar is very simple. You look for the words that you want to ask. For example, if we're going to ask, uh, what is the meaning of life? That's a lot of words, so we have to shave it down to, let's say, three basic words that would convey that same message. For example, uh, why is life? Could also be another rephrasing of what is the meaning of life. So to ask the question why, we have to put one coin in the third slot from the left. And the coin is now saved in that space, so then we can input other words, and then the interactions of the coins, that just broke, will give us a result to what Caesar says. Is or are, we put coins, on the sides right here, bottom slide, and then life is two coins here and here. And the result gives us with this. And on the next page of the user manual, you can reference that same pattern and the answer to what is the meaning of life is 42. Okay, all right, not, not bad, not great either. Let's ask Caesar another question. Uh, let's ask who he is. Let's get to know him a little bit. So who is one coin at the very end here? R is two coins right here. U is two coins, one here and one here. Okay, compare that with the response archive. And it says, I am Caesar, a one-of-a-kind artificial intelligence. Want to play a game? Okay, sure. Not only can you have a conversation with Caesar, but I also made it so that you can play tic-tac-toe in a very simple way. So just like before, how you would input words in the form of certain patterns, you input the row and the column of where you're gonna put your X, in the same way by using a table right there so let's let's see if we can beat this robot at his own game okay so there is tic-tac-toe i will start with the classic x in the middle so now let's see what caesar's response is <laughs> and there it is it's a tie so that is Caesar. Now, will this cardboard AI eventually take over the world? <laughs> Have you not been listening this whole time? Of course it will. No, no, okay, probably not. But the next time that you see a self-driving car going down the road or you think that your phone is listening to your conversation because it gives you a very specific ad you know you didn't search for, I hope you take a moment to think about AI and how at its basic level it is incredibly simple. Why? I don't know, because it's fun to know, I guess. Education, you know, that's kind of what this channel's about. Um...